I'm Elizabeth Wagner and I'm a materials engineer in the Janney Technical Center. Today we're going to talk about curing of concrete. Curing is the process that we add moisture to the concrete surface so that the cement and water can continue to react so that the concrete can develop its strength and durability characteristics. There's a few different ways that we can cure concrete in the lab. The one that we use the most often is our 100% moist curing room. This is a fog environment that has a really high relative humidity that keeps the surfaces of our concrete nice and moist. The other way that we can cure concrete is in a lime saturated bath or a lime tank. This is a way that we can submerge the concrete in water, but it serves the same purposes otherwise. There's a few different reasons why we'll want to cure concrete in the lab. One is if we're doing testing of a material for pre-qualification, certification, or quality assurance purposes, where we want to understand how is the material going to perform the way that it's been formulated. The other reason we might want to cure concrete in the lab is to determine the characteristics of some concrete that has just recently been placed. In this way, what we'll do is we'll cast samples in the lab and cure them the same way that they were done in the field so that we can then determine the properties of that concrete in a way that's more representative of how it was actually cured in the field. A recent example where we used curing in the lab to determine properties of concrete that were useful for our client was to evaluate the durability of a repair material that was used for a beam that was designed with a 75 year service life. We cast samples of the original concrete and the repair material and cured them in our lab the same way that the client did in the field. Seven days of moist curing and 21 days of air curing. After that period, we cut samples of our concrete about two inches thick and performed a rapid migration test of the concrete. The rapid migration test is a test where we apply a potential or a voltage to our concrete, which drives current through our concrete. The current is going to move chloride ions into the concrete, and after the test is done, we can split our samples open and measure the depth that that chloride penetrates the concrete to calculate that diffusion coefficient. Using this method, we were able to determine the migration coefficient of both the repair concrete and the original concrete. We found that the repair concrete had a similar diffusion coefficient as the original concrete and was therefore able to provide the same service life as the original concrete that it was replacing. Thanks for stopping by the Janney Technical Center. Oh,